So making a coconut chicken and vegetable curry stir fry. Uh, in there we've got uh, green curry paste and chicken and sweet potato chopped nice and finely so I'm just keeping an eye on that on a medium heat for a bit and once the chicken is starting to cook and the um, sweet potato is you know getting a little bit soft then I'll add some coconut milk and some more vegetables some frozen frozen vegetables and we will cook that uh, let it bring to the boil then we'll put the lid on and let it simmer for a bit and yeah i've got some rice on the lid well. on is our rice cooker with some rice in it for dinner tonight i am actually going to make a yellow rice so you can see i don't know if you can see that light but um you can see that at the moment it's on um and then when it's finished as always it'll flick up and it'll switch over to warm and stay warm for about four hours safely really they say nine hours but you know depends on the weather the curry paste that we're using um because i'm too lazy to make my own <laughs> you can of course make your own for this dish but we just went and bought it in a jar and um yeah that's what we're using for this coconut curry okay so here we have the rice i need to stir it a little bit more but it's got a little bit of curry powder in it and a little bit of about two tablespoons of the coconut milk that I also used in the main dish. I used the rest of it in the main dish. Um, it's now simmering and I'll show you that in a second but that's all that's in the rice and it tastes pretty much the same as the rice that you get from the Indian takeaway shop. It just needs a bit more mixing through so that the whole rice is that orange vegetables, the coconut milk in the thing. I need to stir it too. I haven't done that yet, but it's in here simmering away. And uh, yeah, in another 20 minutes or something, it should be uh, all cooked. Coconut curry with yellow rice. Easy as.